Welcome back. Every Monday, our foodie friend Jolene Katzenberger shares the latest updates on the local dining scene. Yes, she does. Yes. Hi, Jolene. Hi, Jolene. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you, too. You have a good weekend? I did have a good weekend. Beautiful fall weather, right? Yeah, it's the best. Isn't it pretty? Chilly. Yeah. We were just talking about it's that season where you want to make like a soup well, of chili I do. or something. I have, to go, I have to go home and make some beef stew or something. Oh, right? that sounds yeah. great. And if you don't feel like cooking, <laughs> I know right. you always have all the recommendations. All sorts of places to go. Uh, so first of all, uh, we're going to be getting a new winery next year. Oh. So Rejoicing Vine Winery will be opening on the northwest side um, near 82nd Street and Lafayette Road. So yeah. out in the Traders Point area. Okay. Oh, right. So that'll be nice. So it's always good to have a tasting room and a garden and a vineyard. So they'll be planting grapes out wow. there. Wow. Oh, okay. Really nice. I know. So yeah, that'll cool. be very cool. Um, and we do have some drink kind of focused things today. So uh, Moondrops Distillery, I love that name. Mm -hmm. uh, well, their tasting room is going to be opening soon there in Fortville. Nice. And uh, I know, right? It, and yeah, you know, I have been wanting to try their um, apple pie moonshine. Oh, come uh, on! So oh, that's gonna you, be good. So their products are already in, available in stores, um, but I am looking forward to that tasting room opening. Oh, Fortville is such a fun area too. It is. It's got I history know. and charm. So much fun stuff to do. It's kind of an up-and-coming district it there is. on Main Street. It is. Yeah, nice it's great. To, nice to find places to go when you're when you're driving through. Yeah. Um, and speaking of tasting, so Upland is going to have another tasting room, another nice. tap house, I guess you would call it, um, at uh, near 82nd and close to Allisonville in oh. the former McKenzie River Pizza location. Oh, I know no wonder exactly that looks familiar. Where that right. is. Yes. Yeah. And it, it, I've been waiting for something to go in there. It has the most beautiful views for Castleton. It's yeah. really nice. It's there. very pretty yeah. and it overlooks a, a nice little wooded area. Yeah. So, um, so looking forward to that one as well. As a Bloomington guy, that makes me happy because <laughs> it's close to my house. <laughs> and I'm very excited about that. I already have one close to my house, oh, too. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's fun. So that'll be fun. So that's opening uh, soon as well. And then um, back to, so well, again, still drinks, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Smitten that's we got fun. a theme going on. <laughs> Smitten Kitten. Smitten Kitten. Cat Cafe. Oh. So that's coffee and tea and, you know, coffee drinks and snacks and that sort of thing. Um, so that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's actually the... Uh, the location that we were just talking about, but Smitten Kitten will be opening in Fishers, okay, and the 96th Street area. Fun. Um, I believe in December. Have you ever been to a cat cafe? I Wait. haven't, but didn't we feature one? I yes, we did. We did. We did. Yes, we yeah. So you, you go in and get your coffee or tea or whatever, and then watch the cats through the window. But then you can also pay a little extra and go in and, and hang with the cats and oh. hang out with the cats, which is very nice. That's so there's cool. one down in Fountain Square yeah. that, that I've been yep. to, um, and all the cats, are, of course, will, are adoptable. That's great. That's really cool. Yeah. What a good business. Model. Combining a good yeah, cause. Yeah, a great cause, get a cup of coffee. I and know. a great name. I just yeah. love saying Smitten someone's kittens. a smitten kitten. Yeah, yeah. Cafe. that's fun. Um, and then, so, speaking of good names, so Easy Rider Diner is okay. opening, uh, I believe this week on Thursday, um, down in Fountain Square in the former Pure Eatery location, uh, right by the Hi-Fi. So oh, this yeah. is from the Hi-Fi folks. Oh, nice. Cool. So it makes sense, right? It's right there. Um, so that will be opening with Chef Ricky Martinez in the kitchen. So it'll be comfort foods, uh, yeah. brunch and dinner. Um, with uh, you know a sort of southwestern flair. Do you know what we're seeing there? I mean, oh, those were tacos. Wow. There was some skillet thing beforehand <laughs> that was a, so a good. Yeah. Egg dish. Oh that come on, <laughs> that looks great. So, so that will be uh, really fun. I'm really uh, excited to see what Chef Ricky Martinez is going to come yeah. up with there. We just appreciate all the recon you do throughout the week <laughs> I know. to be like, oh, people got to check this place out. Well, yeah. You, know, you have to keep watching because there's so much stuff there going really on. There's always yeah. something yeah. new. Right. I know. So you always help us out with that, Jolene. If people want to make sure that they follow oh, you they while come, you find all the new places, come find me. You on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and you can check out what we're doing culinarycrossroads.org so always something fun to talk about here yeah, we love having you Jolene thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. good luck with that beef soup you're gonna make too <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. I know yeah. it's gonna be good